Hello, I'm Scruffy, and today we've got a new Pikmin game on our hands, Pikmin 4. I am so excited. I haven't seen uh, any recent like promotional material or, or trailers, and I haven't played the demo, so all of this is going to be new to me. Uh, not the least of which is this title screen, which... Already, it's it's a bit more succinct than other title screens in the Pikmin series, and like this music is a bit more minimal and and really calm, and oh, this is just a lovely display. Ooh, and as soon as we hit the start button, we get this nice like natural ambience, like we do in the other games. I can already tell. I, I'm gonna be thrilled with this. I, I can't wait to begin. So, let's uh, let's get into the story. Uh, rescue shipwreck castaways on an uncharted planet with the help of the Pikmin in this epic adventure. Let's do it. I'm so ready. Ooh, auto saves. Okay, perfect. And the pebble pitcher. So a second player could throw some pebbles, I guess. That's cute. Uh, I'm gonna go with one player for now. <laughs> All right, right into it, I suppose. Gosh, it's been so long since like a completely new Pikmin experience like this. Um, Ooh. I am Captain Olimar. I command a spaceship called the SS Dolphin. This is the story of how I crashed onto an unknown planet and how I was ultimately rescued. Okay. Well, Captain Olimar is back. After the crash, I woke up to find my ship was in pieces, scattered everywhere. That's the dolphin. I had no way of returning home to my beloved family. I thought I was doomed. Oh. Until I encountered a strange species which I named Pikmin, and a new looking onion. The Pikmin had an innate desire or will to carry objects. With their help, I was able to find and transport my missing ship parts. Time passed, and I met yet another mysterious creature. Oh? It appeared to be malnourished. <laughs> so I tossed over a treat. Alright, that's new. After that, we quickly bonded. She is a steadfast partner in the quest to find the missing pieces of my spaceship. Oh! Quest that was nearing its end. Okay, th this is like, this is the story of of Pikmin One. We arrived at the last area we had left to explore, but like it's remixed. It... Like that's the obsessed dolphin for sure. But yeah, what is this place? This isn't the final trial. Ooh. Oh, am I gonna control Olimar? No. I bet I am. Something about this area is different from the others we've explored so far. Yeah, it's a fully decked out living room! Like, this isn't... This is crazy. There... 
it's it's a different direction for like the original Pikmin 1 story because right after Pikmin 1 they had to sell off the SS Dolphin so this is new <laughs> including uh, apparently Olimar's new new pooch <laughs> They've got a very, like, suspicious look to them. Where are you running off to? Ooh. The music so far, it's like... It's been a little reminiscent of, like, the sort of cutscene orchestral music that came from Pikmin 1, so... Uh... That's good. It, it's... Um, it's clear where they're getting their inspirations from, I suppose. Uh, but that can't be a good sign. The Pikmin don't usually scurry off like that. I suppose I'll have to call them back while I search for the missing ship parts. <laughs> I love the, like, vacant, but suspicious sort of look on this dog here. Okay, so I am controlling Captain Olimar, or at least his his loyal companion. Uh, and I can look around. Wow. I, already. I, I'm, uh, I'm just moving and looking around and already I'm... What is that? That looks new. Okay, and there's some Pikmin over there. I guess I have to go, uh, pick them up. Yeah, I need to look for the Pikmin, and the only way to go is this way. So, oh! Oh, I, I've got to try that camera again. I saw some of the Pikmin head this way. Pikmin 3 style tutorial music? They could be hiding behind those things. Let's break them and see. When we jump... I'll start charging up my pup's strength. Oh, yeah. I just need to press X and hold that down, and then take aim. When she's at full strength, I'll let her go and we'll let her rush. Okay. Yeah, wait a second. Like, look at this camera! I... I know that's not the most, like, glamorous thing about this... this whole scene here, but... Oh, that the smooth transition between this like top-down angle and this close-up under the head angle just by moving up and down the right stick I can tell that's gonna be very interesting for like Pikmin style gameplay but anyway let's let's uh let's rush strong head and we got Pikmin and we got the, the Pikmin 2, uh, like, cutscene-style music for when you discover the Pikmin. I knew it! Now I'll use B to call them back to me with my whistle. Classic. No, nope, and speaking of classic, that's... That's exactly the, uh, the Pikmin 2... No, Pikmin 3, uh, tutorial music. Which is a jam, by the way. But let's call them with my whistle. Oh, and they climb on. I just wish I knew why the Pikmin ran away and hid in the first place. Hmm. I better make a note of this in my voyage log. Oh, he's got a tablet? It's like thinner than the, the copad was. You never know when this kind of information will prove useful. Now, how to phrase it? Oh, boy. Though that is Copite text, so maybe it is still built by uh, Copite. But when I arrived at this area, the Pikmin started acting quite strange. They flew out of the onion and immediately hid. I can't find my spaceship parts without them. I suppose I'll keep looking for them and can call them back using my whistle. Number 76? Strange Pikmin behavior. So does that mean there's 70 other, 75 other... Uh, Notes to find before this? Olimar is a prolific writer. 
I need to find my missing ship parts, but it will be much easier if I have more Pikmin to help me. Right. So, in that regard, let's start uh, looking around for them. I'm still curious what that thing is. Don't look before you leap. Actually, Olimar, I'm going to do the opposite. Because you want to check for hazards. But also, I think there are some Pikmin in here. Yeah. My attention is just getting thrown everywhere. <laughs> like, look at this room! It's quite a beautiful lighting for a Pikmin area. And, uh, I guess there's... Oh, there is a way back down. There's That fan's gotta be a way back, back up, I mean. So let's head down here. The area is so open. Let's get some Pikmin here. I still have that cylinder of uh, whistle space. Which helps for calling Pikmin up from like, high places. Ooh. Oh. oh, that's cute. It's like a, a bookend. And I knocked it over. We've got some blue Pikmin. Some red, yellow, and blue. We got some drawings on the ground. Oh, some Pikmin sliding around. Come here, guys. I can throw them in, but... Oh, wait, I can... I didn't even notice. I can just jump with the X button. Like, if I don't hold it down to rush, I can just jump, which might seem innocuous, but, like, we've never been able to jump in a Pikmin game before. So, uh... This dog is something else. Just handing out all sorts of abilities we've never had. Alright. Ooh. Can I make that jump? Hmm. Maybe I can't. Maybe I have to... Throw some Pikmin? Here. Can you guys help me out? Maybe? I'll have to collect more Pikmin. Will I? Are there even Pikmin over there? Because I see some pots, but they aren't exactly, like, shaking as though they had Pikmin in them. I can't see much right now. Well, let's see where else we can go. details and the texture on this sort of on the ground and all the props like the little book details here that's lovely I spy one little Pikmin on the stairs here make that five you can't hide from me I mean I think some of you can but I'm gonna try to find as many of you as I can Okay, there has to be a ship part around here somewhere. Huh. This is the perfect situation to rely on my pup's powerful nose. Track down one of the ship parts, girl. <laughs> These pups are really something else. We need to stay on that scent. They can just guide me to where I need to go. Here, I'll take some more blues. Oh, that's neat. It's kind of like the uh, the system that would direct you on the path in Pikmin 3, I suppose. But now it's with our keen sense of smell. Any Pikmin over there? I hear some. Well... Let's see what this guy's all about. I have not seen a creature like this before. <laughs> a creature? That is indeed a creature. The creature, in fact. 
I don't see any ship parts. Could that thing have swallowed one whole? Those spiky things are going to make this tough. I have to find an opening. Ooh, so it launches its spikes. Okay, and then... Yeah, it's defenseless. Maybe I should use X to build up energy so we can rush the creature when the time is right. Okay, in the meantime, let's circle... Oh, okay, so... Rushing it, like, puts all the Pikmin that are riding on, on the dog... onto the enemy at once. Alright, let's try it out. Uh, with the... The Pikmin 3 mid-boss music. Alright, alright, let's rush. No sweat. I guess it's because I collected so many Pikmin. I, like, you put them all on at once, like that, and yeah, of course you're gonna have no trouble. That's... Ah, oh, that's crazy. That's... But that's fun, like, rushing all the Pikmin into that. That feels good. So, it's the Interstellar Radio. We located it at last. Yeah, it even looks like it did in Pikmin 1. Except uh, a little shinier. With this back in my possession, I can finally call for help. Okay. I recovered the interstellar radio. So he's actually going to use it in this game. Great! <laughs> so I immediately sent out an SOS signal. And attached the latest version of my voyage log. Days and weeks passed, but one month later, my signal reached the rescue corps. Off toward this remote planet, with noble plans to bring me home safe. <laughs> Unfortunately, fate had other right. No, the rescue officers sent to rescue me crash landed during their arrival. No, can no one land on this planet safely? Double shipwrecks are rare, and extremely unlucky. At this point, you might think that all hope was lost. But there was one last rescue officer left at Rescue Corps HQ. A rookie. You. Me? That's right, you are my last hope. I'm honored. Okay. Rescue the Rescue Corps. Following emergency protocol, all officers are directed to evacuate the spaceship immediately. Finding the dispersed Rescue Corps is now your top priority. Got it. Damn, this is also a banger. Listen to that synth bass, I love it. Alright, but let's turn off the alarms here. Please. Okay, uh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, I've got to create my ID badge. And... Let's get a look at all the options here. Okay, let's see. Um, I won't spend too much time on this. But I do want to get a look at all the options here. Oh, <laughs> that's kind of a Charlie looking fellow. Uh, let's go with this one. Eyes. Those are some... Those are quite the peepers. Hmm. Those are nice. Oh, spectacles. Nice. Screw eyes. Oh, these are all cute. You know what? I might actually go with the screw eyes. Let's go for it. Why not? Hair. Oh, it makes a little, like, scissors sound effect as you select each one. That's, oh, I love it. Um, I kind of like the original hair here. That looks fine to me. Oh, hair color. Um, 
Let's go purple. And suit color. Um, let's go blue. Perfect. That's my name. That's my character. Ready to deploy. Scruffy home planet Karoot. New home planet there. Newest officer. They recently accepted a dangerous mission to rescue their missing colleagues. That I did. Ready for duty. Not only my fate, but the fate of the rescue corps. Rest in the hands of one inexperienced adventurer. Oof. That's a clean A flat major. Okay. Here I am on the wor the world of the Pikmin. And there we go. Hold on. Hold on. Search for the missing. Yeah, but hold on a second. Like look at the leaves here. It's kind of hard to get the camera that low, but like just the way that the that the uh that they catch the light. Like look at that. That's beautiful. Ugh, I love huge plate-like leaves like this. Anyway. Oh, yeah, and <laughs> we can take the camera all the way up here, too. Now I really look like uh, an ant. Gosh, this game is pretty... Alright, uh, let's, let's, let's progress. And see who this is. I think I have an idea. Yep. With a blue collar. Hello, Ochi. <laughs> Ochi. Home planet Gia. Okay. I would have thought... Yeah, I would have thought Ochi is either, you know, from my home planet or from uh, Hokutate. But this young loyal rescue pup is one of an elite breed of space dogs that's long served the Shepherd family. This is his first mission. You're just a puppy. There you go. <laughs> that's a quite a look you're giving me there, Ochi. You've encountered a, the rescue corps rescue pup, Ochi. The remaining six rescue officers are still out there somewhere. Okay. Well, one down. And we found him right here, so... What luck! <laughs> Ochi's trying to tell me something. Oh! Ooh, that... That was like, uh, the jingle in... Pikmin 3 when you, uh... When you find Brittany in the Garden of Hope, and, like, she, you're not sure if she's okay, you have to call over the coat pad. Uh, what was I gonna say? Well, whistle Ochi. Oh, here you go, Ochi. I guess you can't rush yet, but you can, uh, pull this root out. Good job. It takes a lot of strength. All the dirt has been removed. <laughs> so I can send out Ochi, and now I have a new guy. That's two! Two out of seven right off the bat! I'm really good at this. Uh, 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 is that you, Ochi? New pal! <laughs> new pal! Thank the stars! I wasn't sure if that SOS signal had reached HQ. So you and Ochi found and rescued me together? It's actually quite surprising. I've never heard, I've never known Ochi to listen to anyone other than our own captain. Oh, I should probably introduce myself. I'm Colin, communications operator, communications operator for the rescue corps. You'd think I'd be better at communicating. He's a handy, he's also handy with a wrench. And he's also from Gia. Okay. 
Yeah, we'll be we'll have the full crew in no time. That's one down. Where could the other rescue officers be? My path got cut off by a small landslide, and when my hunger became unbearable, I decided to nap to preserve my stamina. You're our latest recruit, right? It's Scruffy, isn't it? I couldn't be more grateful to you for rescuing me. As I mentioned before, I was the I was the one who was sent out that emergency signal. The rest of the rescue corps, well, it was a rough landing. We entered the planet's atmosphere and lost control of the ship. What happened? <laughs> oh no! Anyway, no, what happened? No? I have no idea. Of course you have no idea. No one ever knows why all these crash landings happen, but it's a, it's a theme with the Pikmin games. There were six officers on the ship, but we were separated when we were ejected from the spacecraft. We came here to find Captain Olimar, whose ship had crashed, only to suffer the same fate. It's almost embarrassing. I've confirmed that a spaceship, the SS Shepard, landed somewhere over there. Shepard. But I couldn't reach it on my own. Now that you're here, maybe we can find a way back to it. And if we're lucky, we'll come, ac we'll come across a few stranded rescue officers along the way. If we're lucky... Before I forget, take this. Oh, my own tablet! Yes, it's an official Rescue Corps tablet. We use them to share information. Thank goodness I always carry an extra. No, Tap up on the left side to open and review your missions. Oh, uh, there we go. Well, hey. You can use this app anytime to confirm what tasks are top priority. Does that mean I'll be getting side quests? If, if one is top priority, that means there are others that aren't top priority, right? I have some handy apps to share, but I'll install them later when we have a moment to rest. For now, just remember that you can always tap up to view missions. But if you press minus and select shortcut settings, you can assign different functions to each shortcut button. Okay. Ooh. Okay, so we got, we've got a map. The missions, so that's my main mission right now. I I have my Ooh. So there's mine. There's Ochi's. This is the rest of our crew then. And Olimar. Perfect. Still missing. Okay. And history and stats. Okay, so this is like This is like my notes on, on what's happened before. Oh, and there's a whole log of everything we say. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. Let's close it up. Uchi. Now then, let's find the SS Shepard. Let's. Okay. Oh, and you joined. All right. We got a party going on here. A posse. Perfect. Oh. Yep. That must be it. There she is, the SS Shepard. Oh, all of these, like, music cues are so reminiscent of, uh,. The first day of Pikmin 3. And, like, the the story beats are kind of there, too. Uh, you know, you have to find the ship. Uh, you have to find other tools in your arsenal one after the other. And you, like, slowly build up uh, your way back to the ship. And, like, yeah, the, the music is, is very reminiscent of that specific day. I can see the ship, but I have no idea how we're going to reach it from here. You know, there's something familiar about this area. I remember something. It's just up ahead. Let's go. Okay. The plants on this planet are gigantic. And they're pretty, right? Always make sure the area is safe with right stick. Oh, I love dipping the camera up like that. and Like, look at this. It's like... I, it's like I, I have a camera out and I'm filming them from where I'm standing. That's wonderful. Oh boy, we've got stuff. What's that? On the pole? Look, that's it. See that big hole in the ground over there? And the pellet posy over there? If only we could find a way there. Then we would finally reunite with the SS Shepard. Hmm. I don't think I can... Come on. 
Uh, yeah, I don't think I can jump anymore. Hey. So here, Ochi. Mira? Yeah, there you go. This is a perfect job for a rescue pup. They're known for being excellent diggers. Good pup, Ochi. You're making easy work of all that dirt. Almost there. <laughs> that was a satisfying sound. You can see why rescue pups are the rescue corps' pride and joy. Huh. This looks like the other hole we just saw. Well done, Ochi! Yeah, I bet they're connected. Wonder if these toll holes are somehow connected underground. It looks pretty deep. We're just gonna have to dive right in. For real? Let's do it. Let's do it. Hello, That's hello. the spirit. Here we go. Though it does look pretty dark down there. Okay. Oh, I'm to... Yeah. I, before I do that... Um... I can tell, like, this is going to be our first cave in this game. I know caves are returning in this game. So, how about I'll do that first thing next time, next uh, episode here, because I have been going for half an hour. So, yeah. Gosh, it's so exciting. It's a new, brand new Pikmin game. The, the story is still, like... The story is new! Like, it's it's Pikmin 1, but with a new twist to it. And now I'm entering in, I'm part of the story. And just everything looks so lush, and I've got a rescue pup by my side. Who's got a stretch. And yeah, I, I cannot wait. This is fantastic so far. But... At the risk of uh, these becoming too long, I think 30 minutes around there is probably a good length for these. So, next time we'll go in there, we'll get to the spaceship, and we'll go from there. Alrighty, so, thank you all very much for watching. I'm so excited to, to record this for everybody. Thank you very much to my patrons on Patreon for supporting the work that I do, and yeah, um, perfect. I'll, I'll see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye-bye!